What's up, party people? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is just a quick little review about a bad experience that I had with the uh, main choice product. Now, I know it's it break my heart to even do this because I honestly had loved the product way before it became so well known. Um, way before you can even find not one video about it in YouTube, I was the one to um, had been taking at the vitamin. Um, I have watched the whole year supplies of the vitamin way before it was popular, and I loved it. Um, I loved it, and then from now on, I use the products, um, the hairline, because you know they got like a, about a hundred hairline. I pretty much try each one of them already and I have nothing against a product I always been in love with them in the vitamin it really does help your hair grow I'm not gonna lie because the time I bought them for you and I was using them my hair was growing and I was retaining my length okay so with that being said um when I had when they was having the Black Friday sales of being that you know I was a loyal customer I went ahead and purchased I wanted to do go ahead and purchase a one year supplies again because you know I had cut my hair so many times you know since 2011 I've been going it cutting it going it cutting it so I think I cut my hair every year to be honest with you so this year I was just like okay no more cutting as I always say but you know things might change but for now I say no more cutting so let me go ahead and go in a growth journey and since I knew that the products had worked for me from previously so I went ahead bought another year of supplies of the hair vitamin but since previously she had had a sale before black friday so she was not having a sale and the only sale she was having was in these metabolism gold now these things i never had them before um the review that i did looked up on them everybody was like bothered by the taste and saying the pill is better you know just because of the taste of the um powder of and but they say in the website it's the same thing as the a regular pill so i was like oh, why not and she was having a 50 percent off of them so i went ahead and bought 13 boxes um my sister wanted to try one so i went ahead and bought a whole year supplies plus an extra one for my sister and i been taking it since december january i took it i was fine nothing was happening until February. February is when I started getting migraine. I was having huge headache to the point that I was in bed all day for weeks, for days. And I could not figure out what was wrong with me. So I decided to stop taking because I'm taking other vitamins. I was I'm, I'm gonna start taking all the vitamin to see if the headache gonna go away. That was like after two weeks of me suffering. And I did that. And I wanted to see, like, you know what was causing a problem and to see like and then start introducing the products i mean the vitamins to my body as one a day at a time to see like what's gonna change which one's gonna make my head hurt again so um which and it never crossed my mind that it was the main choice product that was doing that because i was taking them for two months and there was no problem i took uh the pill for a whole year and previously I had no problem so that like never crossed my mind to that was one of the issue and when I reintroduced it back to my body immediately like that afternoon my headache came back and I'm like that's crazy is there any ingredients in there so I was like looking up videos to see what other people saying um that's when I actually looked at video because before I purchased it, I didn't look at no videos because I was like, because she said it was the same ingredients as the pill and I didn't work for me. So I was like, mm, okay, just go ahead and order it. No need for that. So when I was having a headache and all that, that's when I started looking at other videos to see what's the problem. I'm comparing um, products from the actual pill to the powder to see what's the different ingredients and seeing if I was allergic to something, like all this stuff. I was going crazy. And, um... And then, um, this went about for a week or so. And then one night, I'm like, it was driving me more crazy. So, I went ahead and picked up the box. So, now this box, it doesn't say the day or anything on it, the expiration date. 
So I went ahead to pick it up again to see if I missed something to compare ingredients. And you know, since I was in pain, I was aggravated, I was mad, I accidentally picked up one of these. And that's how they look like inside. You get like 30 of them inside. Okay, so I accidentally picked one of these and I don't know, uh, maybe the universe was trying to tell me something, but when I picked it up, it was like right here. I picked it up like this and then the date was showing on it, how I picked it up. And then when I noticed, and it has to say expire 02 2020, and I'm like, that can't be right. I ordered these two months ago. There's no way the life expectancy should be this short. If anything, she would last uh, up to a year. So I'm like, could it be that was the reason why my head was my head was killing because like the product was expired. So I went ahead to my texts and whatnot. Sent like that. I sent people when I started like um, complaining that I'm having headache, that I don't feel good or whatnot, and they all started in February. And, and I know for a fact that it was this because once I stopped taking it, my head had stopped and then I will continue to take it again and my heart, my head had started again. So I knew for a fact it was this and I couldn't figure out why was this giving me problem when I been using it and there was no problem. And then when I saw the expiration day, oh my gosh, I was so mad and I thought it was just this box because I was currently taking this box. I went ahead and opened another box and the, the box say it was the same day expir expired in February 2020. So, mean to say they sent me 13 boxes of expired product and my body did not react good to the product being expired because I was in bed for two weeks sick, well a month because I, when I was testing to see what was the problem. So, it go up to a month that I was sick literally could not do nothing in bed all day all night trying to figure out what was wrong with me and come to turn out it was these products and now it makes me very skeptical about day products because that's the product that i usually i really like i have most of the line and for it to do that now i'm questioning it and now every time you know the name come up it leave a bad taste in my mouth because now i'm comparing day product to the ex bad experience that i had so i call customer service and whatnot they were they was not pleasant customer service was just rude make it seems like um i should expect it to expire already you know maybe like it's my fault i didn't get no apology or nothing i know the apologies don't mean nothing but god can i at least get an apology i didn't get none of that and um she said she was gonna just send me a shipping label for me to send the rest back and then they're just gonna take out the difference uh, a month later, I still didn't get my refund, so I had to like keep emailing, um, emailing and checking them. And on one day, I think I sent like five emails, no joke, because at this point, I was getting irritated. I was just like, okay, first of all, y'all made me sick. Did I even seem like you was concerned about it? You was making it seem like it was my fault. And then, now, you're not even getting my money back. So, I emailed them multiple times, and then like a month later, um, they sent me the money, but since... I sent off 10 boxes because I was I only used two of them and whatnot and one is right here. I sent 10 boxes so they went ahead and the dock uh, $32 for the three boxes that I have only used. I was like, really? Really? First I didn't get no apology. And then you know what? So with that being said, um, be careful when you order stuff online. Please make sure you check your dates and whatnot because you never know. Because I felt like that was like old inventory that they were trying to get rid of. And they did a Black Friday sale for it. There's no way this should expire that early. I'm telling you, I bought it in December and this thing by February it was expired. There's no way that should expire that early. So there was old inventory they were trying to get rid of. And they over here selling it to people not knowing... You know, it should be more careful something that I'm consuming in my body. Um, it should be more careful to like knowing. I know you try to like, you know, make yourselves and whatnot, but these are human beings talking about. You don't know how it's going to interact with them. And sadly for me, I had the short end of the stick. And for that being said, I don't think I would be using any more main trust product. I don't think I would be purchasing any more of their product. Because that whole thing just left a bad taste in my mouth, which is 
crazy because I did really like their product. But, hey, I don't know. Happened for a reason. But um, with that being said, thank you so much, you guys, for watching and listening to me. Rumbling, okay? I'm hoping that this did not happen to nobody else. Even if you did get an expired product, um, you didn't get no headache or any kind of illness from it. Because I would not wish that in my worst enemy, those headache was the worst. So I'm hoping none of that happened to you guys who had ordered from the Black Friday sale. And if it is uh, happening to you and you have not figured it out, there you go, girl. And um, thank you for watching once again. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.